a bit long, but this is because this teaching is very difficult to understand when we hear that a new wine needs a new wine skin. Who is the new wine and who is that? What is the new wine skin? So let us pray. Father God, Abba Shiva Shamai. We thank you, Father, that you are always with us. Even in times of troubles, in times of sickness, and in times of nothingness, you are always there to be with us, to guide us, to direct us, to help us, and most of all, to protect and provide us. I pray, Father, that you will anoint my lips. Only the words you want me to speak, will I speak to your people this morning. And I pray, Father, that I, as I speak your word, your word will become fire and it will consume all of us. I declare, Lord, that today I send the holy fire of God from heaven to search all demonic curses and all evil spirits who may be wanting to disturb us, to attack us in the mighty name Yeshua Hamaseya. I pray that today, Lord, you will send more angels to make us more powerful in your presence to defend us from the attacks of the devil. I declare, Father God, that as each one of us will hear the truth that we are the wine and that our repentant heart, our repentant hearts are the wine skin. We will be able, oh Lord God, to understand you more, to be in our mind and in our heart that teaching today, oh Lord God, so that we will be able to walk with you in the mighty name Yeshua Hamasia, I pray. Amen. Amen. So this week, my sermon is based on the theme, New Wine Needs New Wine Skin. And I will be preaching exactly the God's New Wine Skin. So we have already declared scripture, our scriptural verse, Mark 2, verses 13 to 22. And introduction, God is eternal. He created heaven and earth and all that are in them as inheritance of his, of his son. Mankind sinned and their, and their destination could have been the lake of fire. After we sinned, there is no way to go except the lake of fire. But God sent Yeshua HaMasiah to judge the world and the devil by destroying his works to free mankind from the law that made them sinners. When we know Yeshua HaMasiah, we become God's new wine. So we are the wine of God. As new wine, we need a new wine skin. When the Son of God came to the world, He established relationships, not religion. Religions are the old, worn-out wine skins. And once we become born again, we do not need religion. We only need a repentant heart. Our repentant heart in the eyes of God becomes the new wine skin. Amen? Amen? So first point, son fulfills God's will on earth. God sent his beloved son to the earth for the sake of the will that was fulfilled in heaven and should also be fulfilled on earth. We should understand Yeshua HaMashiach came to fulfill the divine will of God. What is the divine will of God? The will of God is in place in heaven. But on earth, it is not until today, until Yeshua HaMashiach will come to punish the devil, throw him into the lake of fire. Amen? So we should understand the will of God 
God is not yet been done on earth. The will of God is all over heaven among all the angels in heaven. But the will of God on earth is yet to be accomplished. Amen po? So, Yeshua HaMasiah, before He ascended to heaven, He taught His disciples to pray. Matthew 6, 10, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's why this is a church which during worship service, we always declare the Lord's Prayer. We are declaring that one day the will of God when Yeshua HaMasiah comes back will be fulfilled on earth. Who is the ruler of this earth? Satan. That's why. He is the ruler why Yeshua HaMasiah is the ruler in heaven. He is the God of heaven but in this world Satan still holds the the power to attack us. The power to bring us with him to the lake of fire. Amen po? I hope you will understand. The name Yeshua HaMasiah is full of God's will that is fulfilled in heaven. But his name has yet to be fulfilled on earth. While the Son of God is the God of heaven, the devil rules the world. Matthew 1, 21, She will give birth to a son, and you shall name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. It's very important for God to take us back to him, because by doing so, Yeshua Hamasiah's perfect will set by the Father long time ago will be done on earth. Amen po? Mark chapter 2 verse 17 And hearing this, Jesus said to them, It is but those who are sick. I did not come to call the righteous but sinners. Worldly religions have put stress on ethics and moral. Religions will tell us this is what should be done, this is what should be done. But actually, this is not in the Bible. Yesterday, I rebuked a friend of mine, a doctor who sent me a message about All Saints Day. So I told, I told him straight, I'm very sorry, doc. He's a doctor, very well known. I said, I'm very sorry, Doc. This All Saints Day and All Souls Day are only found in the seven additional books put in the Bible of the Roman Catholic. But all of us outside Roman Catholic, we do not have these books. Secondly, when I went to Qumran Cave in Israel, all the books in the Bible, excluding the book of Easter, were all found in the Qumran caves, which were known as the Dead Sea Scrolls. Because the Qumran cave is located near the Dead Sea. But these seven books that were added by the Roman Catholic in their Bible, they were not there. So where did it where did this book come from? Who wrote this book? Why these books are telling us we should observe all saints day, we should observe all souls day. These are not included in the timings and seasons of God. Only nine feasts in the Bible, including three major feasts, the feast of weeks or the Pentecost the Feast of Unleavened Bread or the Passover and the third, the Feast of Tabernacles or the Feast of Booth or the or Sukkot 
are only the ones that we can read in the Bible, in Leviticus, in Deuteronomy, nothing else. So, she, he did not reply. I'm waiting for the reply. So that whoever is his pastor, he would tell his pastor. Amen po? We should not accept any messages. We should rebuke them because the truth, we need to know the truth and the truth shall set us free. Amen po? Amen. So, we are having weekly fasting as commanded by God Wednesday and Friday. And the, in, the, in this fasting, we are supposed to pray for the coming tribulation that we would not suffer five months of being beaten, eaten by the big locust with grounds coming from the abyss. Where right now, the devil and all his agents are located. Amen po? Now, if we are observing things that are not commanded by God, what will happen to us? Where will we go? Can we, do we have the right to change the words of God? No. In Revelation chapter 22, the last chapter of our Bible, it says, 22, 18, 19, 20. Whoever will remove any part of this book, God will also take away from this person who will remove his right to the tree of life. Who is the tree of life? Yeshua HaMasih. And in the next verse it says, whoever will add to this book, God will add all the punishment that is being written in this book. Amen po? Kaya po, you think priest would go to the heaven? Huh, think. It is God who said, I will remove you. So, God is telling us, He will remove you from whom? from Yeshua Messiah, and Yeshua Messiah is the only Savior, God, and Master. Amen po? Amen. Now, if we add something to the book, to the Bible, what did he say? I will add. So, what are the punishment in the Bible? All the punishment that God made the Egyptians, the Egyptians suffer. Huh? What else? All those punishment that are to be undertaken by seven angels on the last days just before the judgment. Ah. Who will survive? Even five months to be beaten, eaten by the locals, can we survive? Without God, we cannot. That's why God is asking us to, to uh, fast and pray. Amen po? You know how I pray? I ask the Lord. Lord, when you will release the locust in all parts of the world where you have true children, where your teachings that you left on earth are still being taught, do not send the locusts. And I always say, while we are still here, Lord, do not send the locust. If by the time you send the locust to the world, we are still here. Amen, po? Because we are the children of God. If you are a child, you can ask always favor from your father. Amen, po? Amen. So we have the right to ask a favor. What is the favor? Lord, ilayo mo yung mga locust. Mula dito sa lugar kung nasaan kami, amen po? And you have to pray for this wherever your sisters, brothers are located so that 
if time comes, we do not know when it will be. If we are still alive, it would not be very difficult for us to go through the tribulation and scatter. Amen po. So, Matthew 5, 17, 20. Do not presume that I came to abolish the law of the prophets. I did not come to abolish but to fulfill. Verse 18. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or stroke of a letter shall pass from the law until all is accomplished. Verse 18, Therefore, whoever nullifies one of the letter of these commandments and teaches others to do the same shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven and but whoever keeps and teaches them he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven have we heard it what did the lord say whoever will teach who is teaching now in the roman catholic teaching the all since day all souls day huh? What did God say? Whoever will teach. That's why it's very difficult. When we add something on the Bible, it would be the end of us. We definitely will not enter the kingdom of God because that is the word of God. And verse 20, For I say to you that unless your righteousness for far surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Another question. Why would God criticize always the Pharisees and the teachers of the law? They are supposed, they are supposed to be in the top echelon of the society of Israel. Amen po? So, they regard sinners and those with them as devoid of their virtue. Sabi na Panginoon, wala kayong virtue. Kung baga, wala kang ka worth, worthless ka. Wala kang value. Amen po? However, uh, Mark 2, 16, when the scribes of the Pharisees saw that he was eating with the sinners and tax collectors, they said to the disciples, why is he eating with tax collectors and sinners. They even questioned God. However, the Son of God did not come to call healthy people who has not, who do not need a doctor, but came to call the sick who need a doctor. Our sins are our sicknesses. We are sick of the sins. Amen po? That's why God sent his son to come and treat us by dying on the cross to destroy the law of sin and death that this the law of sin and death that made us all sinners in the eyes of god amen he destroyed the works of the devil in mankind through through repentance that leads to a deep relationship with god no one. No one can have a deep relationship of God without being repentant. When I met the Lord for the first time, what did He, told, why, what did he tell me? Repent! For I am the true God. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And while He was telling me this, I could feel a dagger trying to to burst my heart. It was too painful. That's why I had to cry and cry and cry for three and a half hours. Amen po? Ako, hindi po ako naniniwala na magsabi ng sorry. You know why? Ang layo po niyan. God will only honor our repentance if we truly this repentance comes from a repentant heart. Ang bibig kasi natin, Yun ang sinasabi, hanggang muso lang, wala sa puso. 
Amen po. Kaya ako, wherever I go, pag mamit ko ang mga ganito, tapos, hindi ko alam, pag nagsalita sila sa akin, hala, puro, bunga, bunga. So, hindi man ako madala ng ganyan. <laughs> Amen po? Why? Because we know the truth. Once you know the truth, whoever will tell you, you know, bishop, you know, sister, brother, you will not believe because you know the truth and the truth has already set you free from the deception of the devil. Amen po? So, Matthew 3 verses 5 to 9, at the time Jerusalem was going out to him and all Judea and all the region around Jordan. You know, Judea is a big area po. John the baptizer's house is in Judea. It's up in the mountain. And what you call this? Most, mostly of our judges. There is a book of judges. Mostly of the judges that God appointed to judge over Israel. Because they were so wicked worshipping the idols. This, most of this all came from the uh, kingdom of Judea. Amen po? So, verse 8, And they were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they confessed their sins. This is talking about Yeshua Messiah. By this time, when Yeshua Messiah, the disciples were baptizing, John the baptizer was already dead. And always remember, God sent John the Baptizer ahead of Yeshua Hamasiah by how many months? Three months. Why? Because he was appointed by God to preach the uh, baptism of repentance. No one can receive Yeshua Hamasiah without repentance. But, he was also anointed by God to water baptize in the Jordan River. But this is what you should know. In the Bible, it says, when Yeshua HaMashiach came, Yeshua HaMashiach went to the source of the water in Israel. That is Salim. Why would he go there? He would not water baptize in the Jordan River. It's because he is God. He is the source. So he went there. Though Yeshua HaMasiah never water baptized anyone, all were done by his apostles, the 12 apostles of Christ. But when John the baptizer saw that Yeshua HaMasiah and the disciples were at the source, he left Jordan River. And he went also to Salem near Enon. Amen po. Archbishop Dominic Bierman told me that from Salem, one big river, uh, one big source of water, it would go down. And when the water would reach down, it would split. One goes to the Dead Sea. And the other goes to the Jordan River. And according to her, Bishop, you should understand that those who will not return to God, they will be dead. They are like the Dead Sea. But those who will return to God, they will go to the Jordan River. They will be water baptized, baptism of repentance, so that they could receive the Lord. Amen. Amen. And so, this is what happened. Now, do you think God is pleased with that? That's why when God will, if there is a time that you will hear or you will know that God is asking you to do something when you do it, make sure 100% you have done it well. Amen po? Amen. So, a simple disobedience, water baptized in Jordan River. But, he went to where? 
Yeshua Hamasya and the disciples to Salem, what happened? He lost his head. He was beheaded by the king at the time, Herod. Amen po? This is what happened. Sometimes in our life, we always ask, why, why, is, why does this happen? I am going to church. I was worshiping the Lord. I am in the ministry. Why this thing happened to us? Ask yourself. There is only one who can answer that. You. You have to sit down. Have a, a quiet moment with God. Ask the Lord. Because the Lord will always tell us He will not He will not be mute or He will not be dumb but He will immediately answer us. Amen po? Example, my brothers and sisters were telling me we had to personally start gold mining because people are going to our land and took the gold which are supposed to be our inheritance. And so, my brother confronted one of the four groups. But he was being threatened. So, I said, stop. I don't want them to kill you because he is the only one left in our ancestral home. I said, there is one who can defend us. We will pray to God. So, my prayer Lord, send warring angels and carry them, return them to where they came from. By the time we start, I pray that none of them will exist in any part of our land. One week after, one of the groups met an accident, died on the spot. Now, when this started, what happened? God, their talent, suddenly cracked so they could not enter. They could not do it anymore. Amen po? God is so faithful. He does all things in His own way. And that two could no longer continue. You know why? There was no more gold. I also prayed, Lord, all the gold that they could find in their tunnel, bring them. Let the gold walk towards our tunnel. You know why? If you do not know, gold is the only mineral that is always alive. It is alive. It's like a man. If you will make a tunnel here, it will go somewhere else. If there is a sea, they do not like salty. When God revealed this to me when I was seven years old, I made a research about gold. That's how I knew it is like that. They do not like the sea. So from the sea, they will go somewhere else. They will look for what? Fresh water. If there are rivers, for sure, along the rivers, the gold are there. Amen po. So, nawala. Biglang nawala silang lahat. So sabi ko sa mga kapatid ko, I am not there. I will take care of the prayer. My other sister, I said, you will coordinate and communicate because you are in the Magyeti, my eldest sister and my other sister next to me, Reverend Edith, they were there with the workers together with my brother and my brother is the one supervising. And I told them, you know what they did? They burned the area. Nagulat po ang aking mga kapatid. Sinulog po sila yung area. Why? Mayroong kuna ng water in a river. Pero see how God is so good. Lahat ng mga host, hindi po nasusunog. Who protects? God. Amen po? 
in everything we do if we do right God will not allow us to suffer po Amen po kaya nagkakamali po si Johnny Baptizer Amen po naputulan po ng liig hindi, hindi nyo ba tinanong He is someone the only prophet who was inside the womb He was already a prophet born as a prophet, lived as a prophet, died as a prophet, why would God allow his head to be cut by Herod, who is a wicked king? Even po, when we commit something wrong, things will go wrong. Amen po? Sa totoo lang, bago umalis si Pastor Jung, sinabihan niya, kung masumama ka na sa akin, marami namang mga pastor, because you are, you are already old, But I told him, unless God will command me, I will not go home. Because I know I still have to go to Iran because this there is part of the Bible that were being kept and God showed me it's in the source of the Tigris Euphrates River in Iran. I cannot go unless there is an instruction from the Lord. So I said, just pray for me that although I am getting older, God will continue to give me wisdom to give me help. Amen po? You cannot just leave your ministry. You cannot. Even one day, once, one week, you will not hold a worship service. It would be a sin against God. Amen po. The Bible tells us so. Amen po. That's why po, many would like to become the head of a church. But problem, they just want it for their ego po. It's not for God. Because if it is for God, we cannot just do anything. Amen po. So, second point, Christ gospel is the seed of Christian life. The essence and basis of the Christian faith is the gospel. It is how we live every aspect of our life, all our deeds, our words. Nakita niyo ang words sa mga born again? Pag may nakita ang maganda, praise God! Hindi mo yan marinig sa mga unbelievers. Amen po? That's why even in words, we will know that God lives in that person po. The gospel teaches us the core of our Christian faith. It is all based in the gospel. The gospel is the seed. It is where everything starts. Mark 1.1, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So, in order to keep the gospel and in order to obey the gospel, we have faith. That's why Holy Spirit gives us the faith so that we will be able to obey the gospel and we will keep the gospel in our faith life. We have to understand how important the gospel is. All aspects of our life come from the gospel. And where is the focus of the gospel? the most important thing in the gospel is God will save you, you and me. Amen, Amen po? Amen. Gospel is all about us. It's all about the children of God. The Bible does not say that He will save the angels or the fallen angels. They will go to the lake of fire. He will only save go mankind. Amen po? That's how God loves us. He loves us so much, He wants us to be back to Him. Amen po? And all must come to Him, repent, and receive salvation. First, you have to come to God. Second, repent. Hindi mawala ang repentance. And third, receive the gospel so that we will receive the salvation. This is how the message of the gospel is being fulfilled. Mark chapter 1, 14 to 15. 
Now after John was taken into custody, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of God. Verse 15, And saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The kingdom of God is at hand. Who is there? The Son of God. Without the, without the Son, who is the King? There is no kingdom. Amen po. That's why when he preached, he said, The kingdom of God is at hand. Amen po. And Yeshua Hamasiya, the Son of God, took upon himself all the sins of mankind. And in his way, having forgiven everyone, he has taken all our sins. Now, as we know, these sins we have understood the reality that we are sinners, we must understand this and we must repent and obey. Amen po. Matthew 4 verse 17 From the time Jesus began to preach and say First preaching of Jesus what? Repent for the kingdom of God kingdom of heaven is at hand. It is saying you repent because God has sent you already. His son, I'm in front of you. Amen po. And then God's righteousness will be fulfilled. Many would say that they are righteous. We cannot have the righteousness without the son. Because son is the righteousness of God. Amen po. And this is the purpose of the gospel. This is what the gospel is trying to do. Repent and obey. Magrepent ka nga. After three days, after repenting, after a few days, you will go back to sinning again. Then there is nothing new. It is still the same. Amen po? Kung baga, you are a dog and you are only, only changing the color of the dog. Ngayon, blue, following the item, you are just changing. It is like that. Amen po? So, we must understand that we are still sinners. But, those who recognize that they are sinners, they understand the meaning of the cross. At the same time, they understand that they are sinners. They understand about the gospel. They understand the cross found in the gospel. And if we come up to this point, then we are ready to repent. No one can repent. Unless you know who is Yeshua Messiah, and you know what happened 2,000 years ago, then, you, then when we know this, Holy Spirit will touch us to repent. Without you knowing it, you are already crying. Amen po? So, when we repent, then the true purpose of the gospel of Yeshua Masya is imputed to us. We understand that we are now regarded as righteous by God. We cannot claim we are righteous. Only God can regard us as righteous. Amen po? This is how the first purpose of the gospel is fulfilled. There are two purposes of the gospel. Amen po? First one is for us to be regarded as righteous before the eyes of God, by God Himself. And the second purpose is that we must believe, we must belong to God. We must belong. We can only belong to God if, after knowing God, we obey Him and we believe in Him. Tato po siya. You know, you obey, and you believe. That He will come back to take us back to the Father in Heaven. Amen? We understand that we are now regarded as righteous by God. This is how we are saved. Very easy to say, I am saved. But how? This is how God has saved us. This is how the first purpose of the gospel is fulfilled and the second purpose which is for us to belong to Him. 
and he took the punishment upon himself which we deserve to have. We are supposed to be the one who would be punished in the lake of fire, but now we will escape that punishment because instead of going to the lake of fire, we are now bound to the new Jerusalem which we call heaven. We took all sins upon himself and we must show that we belong to him. So unless we confess that our Lord, Master, is Yeshua, Messiah, we do not belong to him. We have to say, Lord, you are my master. Amen po? Pag master ka kasi, anong iutos ng master? You have to? Okay. Amen po? So, this is the way that God fulfills His righteousness. And this is what we call salvation. We know that Yeshua Messiah took the sins of mankind upon Himself. But mankind does not feel his own salvation. He does not fulfill his own salvation. Nasib na nga, bumalik naman. So, it's just the same as you have not received salvation. Amen po? That's why many times, if you have committed sin, you have to receive Yeshua Masya again. What does the Bible say? If you have committed sin after you know me, then I will erase your name from the book of life. Three times the Bible said so. I will erase your name from the book of life. Now, suddenly Yeshua Masiya comes. And suddenly there is judgment. If our name is not in the book of life, what does it, uh, Revelation 20 verse 15 say all whose names who are not in the book of life will be thrown into the lake of fire. Amen po? This is what I'm saying. Better to, it doesn't matter how many times you receive the Lord. The most important is you are sure that your name is in the book of life. Whatever happens day after day, you know you will be with God forever. Amen. So, even though we do confess Yeshua HaMasiyah and they do merely recognize that Yeshua HaMasiyah died on the cross, if they do not belong to Yeshua HaMasiyah, there is no proof that they belong to God. So if they now belong to God, if they confess Him, then they must belong to Him and obey Him. And it is only then that they can be recognized as justified by God. Amen po? Third point, God's new wine skin for new wine. Religion is a worn out wine skin and cannot contain new wine. God is referring to all the religions I said in my in my opening prayer, that I, in my opening statement, I said that God came, Yeshua Mashiach came, not to establish religion, but to establish relationship. So, the religions that are scattered all over the world, they will become old, worn out, white skin ones that people of God will become his. Amen po? God regards a repentant person without religion as a new wine skin. You have become a wine and what you need is not the worn out wine skin which is religion but you can come to God without religion with a repentant heart. We only need to repent and that repentance will enable us to at the same time become the new wine skin. Amen po? The truth is blocked by religion and is always judged ethically by it. Matthew 23 verses 1 to 7 Then Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, verse 2, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have have sealed have seated themselves in the 
chair of Moses. Verse 3, Therefore, whatever they tell you, do and comply with it all, but do not do as they do for these things, and do not do them. Amen po? Ang sabi niyan, magaling magsalita, hindi naman magaling gumawa. So, mahilig lang sila magbigay ng mga batas, o ito, ito, ito. But actually, they themselves are not complying with the laws. Amen po? So, verse 4, And they tie up heavy burdens and lay them on people's shoulders, but they themselves are unwilling to move them with so much as, the, as their finger. Verse 5, And they do all their deeds to be noticed by other people, for they broaden their their philacteries and philacteries and lengthen the tassels of their garment. I will let you understand. Ang mga parisis po, pag nakita mo sila, until today, they are still in the you are walking, once you meet them, meron po silang mga tassels dito. What is that for? The tassels contain ten commandments that God gave to Moses. Ang tanong, sinunod ba nila? They are just wearing it so that those Israelite people will, you know, I we have to honor him. It's very spiritual. Daladala pa niya ang mga tassels. That's why Yeshua HaMasiyah, now you can understand the Lord. What did the Lord say? Hypocrites! Even po? He called them hypocrites. They are giving the law. They are not complying with the law. They are wearing the tassels. And yet, it's only for your eyes. Not for their soul. Amen po? I hope you can understand this. And verse 6 and the love the place of honor at banquets and seats of honor in the synagogues. So when they enter in the synagogue, they would always sit the first row. Ah, pray to God, crying, shouting. Amen po? When I went to Israel for the second time from the no first time with Roosevelt I accidentally entered a synagogue once I exited the upper room upper room where Yeshua HaMasiyah had his last Passover meal with the 12 disciples before he went to the Mount of Olives was arrested and was brought to trial for I exited there so I heard lots of because I could not understand it in Hebrew words they were praying because it was so loud so saka curioso ko sinundan ko Pumasok ako na ako, nagunat sila dahil kasi nakadawit ako, nakapantalon lang sila pala, maraming sinusot, iwan ko lang kung ano. Amen po? So, tinignan ko lang sila, tinignan nila ako. Umupo ako doon, bakit? Napagod ako, eh, wala bang karapatan umupo? Yeah. <laughs> Hindi naman sinabi ni Lord, pag nagpunta kayo dito, wag kayo umupo. Wala yung ganun. So, umupo ako. Inantay ko na palayasin ako, hindi naman ako pinalayas, pero talagang lumaki ang mga mata nila. They were looking at me as if, who are you? Amen po? At nakita naman lang, hindi naman ako Israelita, dahil ang ilong ko naman is not as, you know, matangos kay sa kanila. But I'm not scared. It's my right to sit down because I, I, I saw a chair. Amen po? So, Ganyan sila magpray. And biron pa silang nilalagay. They put something on the on the head. I don't know what's the name. So I look at them. Ano pang mga nilalagay nila? I mean po, they have so many paraphernalias attached to their body. I mean po, 
they want to show to anyone, you know, I'm spiritual, I am doing this, I am doing that. But in the eyes of God, they were valueless. Amen. Oh. And verse 7, and personal greetings in the marketplaces and being called rabbi by the people. So they like to hear you. Good morning, Rabbi. Ha, shalom, Rabbi. Amen po? The Holy Spirit does not enter religion. That's why we know those who are in religion, they do not have the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit does not enter into religion. Amen po? And it comes on those who repent and work. Those who repent and work for God, for His salvation, Holy Spirit will enter and dwell. Amen po? Acts chapter 2, 37 to 39. Now when they heard this, they will burst to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what are we to do? Verse 18, Peter said to them, Repent. And each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Verse 39, for the promise is for you and your children and for all who are far away as many as the Lord our God will call to himself. Amen po? That's why you, each one of us must be Joyful. We cannot become born again if we are not called by Yeshua Messiah. And remember, we have become born again. We have known Yeshua Messiah. Not because we are righteous, but because Father God is the one who determines, okay, my child, go, 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 go to my son. Always the Father, according to the Bible, Yeshua Messiah said, you are drawn to me by my Father in heaven. Without Father leading us to the Lord Yeshua Messiah, we cannot call ourselves children of God. We cannot become born again. We cannot know Yeshua Ha Messiah. Amen, po? As new wine, who is the new wine? You and me are the new wine. When we have become born again, we become new wine. So as new wine, we must be put into new wine skins. You cannot accept the truth by religious conscience. Do you know when you are on a page on a Facebook page and someone is posting something which is not which is against the truth, you always comment and there will be always an altercation. You will disagree with one another. Why? Because once we become born again, we are new wine. We need now a new wine skin. Only our repentant heart is our new wine skin. Amen po? Not the religion po. If you go back to religion, you cannot come back to become a child of God. Amen po? It says in Hebrews chapter 6, verses 4 to 6. Amen po? So, is there a religious, righteous person? May nakita ka ba? Have you seen a religious person who is with a born again? No. We are always doing spiritual things. You mean po? Pero, if you enter a Roman Catholic Church, what will you say? You can see lots of things. Especially during Holy Week. They will walk not on their feet but on, on their knees from the from the entrance of the of the church up to the idols, whether Mary or whoever is in that church. Amen. That is being religious. God did not teach them, did not teach us like that. What he is teaching us is know my son, believe in my son, and obey in him so you can come back to me. These are all spiritual things. 
Amen po? And when I was preaching for three days on Holy Week in Tarlac, oh, every corner they were singing. They have big, you know, life-size teachers and they were worshiping them. My God, you know how I feel? I was like, I felt like crying because I, in my heart, I know that they are wrong and they are not worshiping the true God. True God is a living God, not a wood, not an, a gold or silver. Amen po? And he called, Yeshua Masha called all those who were worthy to be condemned. Do, you, do not boast of a religious conscience. That is religious conscience. If you cannot do we need to go. Maka light man lang ng candle. What does the lighting of candle have to do with you? Amen po. Yeshua is the light of the world. You don't even need a candle to light in the church. The church which even belongs not to the true God. Amen po. That's why religions, they have become worn out wine skins. Amen po. Have the heart of a repentant sinner. Repent and be baptized to become a new white skin. Remember, you have to water baptize. So, hindi po siya pwedeng shortcut na, ay, nakilala ko na si Lord. After that, publicly, you have to let the devil know your master now is Yeshua HaMasiah. Water baptized. Because in water baptism, we will be united with Christ in His death and in His resurrection. Amen po? Those who boast of a religious conscience cannot become Lord's servants. God chooses spirits of sinful tax collectors and prostitutes who repent and return to Him. To God's people, when we live our life of faith, we must avoid saying, I am saved and I am righteous with pride. Amen po? Kausap mo yung unbelievers, sabi mo, ay, saved na ako. That is, with, well, that is with pride. The moment you keep saying, I am righteous, you suddenly come to the edge of what the essence of the gospel is all about. You are actually on the verge of falling away from the essence of the Christian gospel. Normally speaking, we can hear this without any feelings be because we can understand what he was saying. Amen po? Yet, when you keep on saying you are righteous, you are actually falling away from the core focus and true treasure of the gospel. What is the truth? Pressure of the gospel, God will save us. Amen po? And if you see this, you are actually understood this way. So all believers who often say, I am righteous, this is a very dangerous expression po. So how do we say? If a person rather says, we have to say, I am, instead of saying, I am saved, Hi, unbeliever ka pala. You know, I am saved. But the best thing for us is, I am justified because only the blood of Yeshua Messiah justifies us. Once we are justified by the blood of Yeshua Messiah, we are truly saved. Amen po? And you can say, I am made righteous by God. We cannot say, I am righteous, but God has made me righteous. Amen po? You have more accurately understood in what the gospel is trying to say. If you see this, instead, you are remaining in the focus of the gospel. You are a true believer. The Bible tells us clearly so we do not misunderstand. Romans chapter 3 verse 24, being justified as a gift by His grace, through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. So we have been justified freely by His grace that it that is by the redemption of Yeshua 
HaMasiyah. Remember when I was preaching about the Feast of the Tabernacle in the uh, live streaming, I said that all inside the tabernacle set up by Yeshua HaMasiyah were made or inlaid with gold or silver. What is the meaning of silver? Our redemption. And the and gold redemption and what other one? Did, did you listen to my live streaming? It was so important. You mean Paul? So our original essence so we have been saved for free. We have been justified and washed clean through Yeshua HaMasiyah. But this does not mean that you are always, you continue in this righteousness. Once God regard us as righteous, then stay being righteous in the eyes of God. How do, you, how do we know that we are righteous? When you pray, one click, God will answer. Amen. Amen po? Why? Amen. He would answer because His righteousness is in you. Righteousness of God is imputed in us. Amen po? Pag matagalan po, delikado po, you surrender to God. Amen po? That's how we know it. Actually, si Bisha po, mahilig magpabitbit ng tao po. Before so many members, and uh, once kaharap po and I could feel that they have lived in partners, I I used to speak to them. But if they would not agree to me, they would say they love this habibi what and what. The next thing that I will do, angel of the Lord assigned to me, capture. But yan, pag nag-usap kami, tinatanong ko, ano namang pangalan ng iyong boyfriend, taga saan? Dahil gagamitin ko yan sa pagpabitbit. So, I always command the angel of the Lord, capture the spirit of this person. He does not belong to us. Take him back to where he came from. Ang nangyari po, na wala ng trabaho, biglang na ang mga trabaho nila, na-terminate sila, they were not renewed, and their businesses bankrupt. So, they were forced to go back. I mean po, natuwa ko ako, but I never ever told anyone. Sikreto ko lang po yun. Pero, oh, totoo po yun. Eh, hindi, hindi, hindi mag-agree na kinausap ko, na kinansin ko, ayaw talaga, in love, in love. Sabi ko sarili ko, tingnan ko ang in love ko kung saan yung pupunta. Ipabitbit ko yan. Ayaw po ipabitbit ang member sa church dahil wala na magsimba. So ipabitbit ko yung boyfriend lang. Ano, sige. Amen po. Mm, maniwala kayo. I always believe because it worked. Amen po. So, this does not mean that you are always righteous. You continue in this righteousness. So legally speaking, you are righteous when you become the son of God. But this is not legally speaking because it is God who will regard us as righteous. Amen? Our original essence always remains there. So when we first believe in Yeshua HaMasiyah, we are was clean. But this does not mean that we are righteous like God. Amen po? But after we are saved, if we maintain the attitude of repentance in our life of faith, the atonement of Christ continues in a legal, in a legal sense. How? Always. When you kneel down, before asking anything, before thanking God, always ask forgiveness. Yan ang gusto niyang marinig. If you make it as a way of a Christian life, pag bow down mo direct, Lord, whatever I have done, whether consciously or unconsciously, intentionally or unintentionally, forgive me. Because there are times you sin, you do not know. Amen po? That's why you can commit a sin unconsciously or consciously because 
consciously means you know it's a sin, but you still do it. Amen po? And after we are saved, if we maintain the attitude of repentance in our life of faith, the atonement of Christ continues, continues in a legal sense. You are in a legal sense righteous, but you must continue that attitude of repentance and only then the legal sense of being righteous is being valid. Amen po? If you keep on seeing carelessly that you are righteous, then you are falling away from the meaning of the gospel and you are showing that you are not carrying out the fulfillment of the gospel. Amen po? So, more than anything else, we show that we turn away from the core of the gospel and we have nothing to do with it. We are acting in a way that we have nothing to do with the gospel. We should not do this. Hence, until the day we die, you and I must rely every day on the grace of Yeshua HaMasiah. When we rely on the grace of Yeshua HaMasiah, it means you are walking according to the purpose of the gospel. Amen. And we carry around us the righteousness of Yeshua HaMasiah. When we rely on Yeshua HaMasiah's grace, when we trust on Yeshua HaMasiah's grace, the righteousness of the Lord is transferred to us. Amen po? So who will know whether it's already transferred or not? Only God. That's why only God can regard us as righteous. Amen po? This righteousness is how we are called now. So, if we continue to keep, we can continue, we must continue to keep the attitude of repentance in order to be called righteous, then the objective of the gospel will be fulfilled. Fourth point and the last, God's righteousness made us into a new wine. Yeshua HaMasiah spoke of another parable. It says in Mark 2, 22, And no one puts new wine into old wine skins, otherwise the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost, and the skins as well. But one puts new wine into fresh wine skins. Amen po? If the wine will be put in the old wine skin, what is the old wine skin? Religion. Then the wine will be is peeled and the wine skin and the wine skin will be ruined. Amen po? Yung espiritu nang galing sa Diyos, makipagtalo talaga yan sa mga nasa religion. That's why you will always see a clash even in comments in the Facebook po. Amen po? New wine needs to be put in a new wine skin. But as time passed, the wine skin will wear away and become useless. Then the wine will be spilled and the wine skin will be ruined. So, new wine, we are the new wine, need, we need to be put in a new wine skin. That is why Yeshua HaMasiah explained it to them. If you try to put a new wine into a very old wine skin, or if you try to hold old ideas in a new time, it will not work. That's why po, even parents and children, they will clash when the children reach the, the age of puberty. Palagi sinasabi nila, matanda ka na kasi mama, matanda ka na papa. <laughs> mga, mga gulang kayo, kami mga bata pa. Amen po? Why? Because it's already new time, it's their time, and we are still in our old ideas po. Ha? Ano yung mga old ideas? Isang tingin na natin, hmm, atakutan ko ha, anak mo. Amen po? Ngayon hindi na yan. It won't. Amen po? I hope you understand. And, so new wine needs to be put in a new wine skin. And this is the principle that everybody at the time knew. They knew it during the time of Yeshua Masiya. That is why Yeshua Masiya explained it to them. It will be useless and we will throw it away if we continue on our old ideas 
in a new time. Amen? It's the same as putting new wineskin in an old worn out wineskin. Amen po? Galatians 5 verse 4, You have been severed from Christ. You who are seeking to be justified by the law, you have fallen from grace. That's how we fall from the grace of God. So if you hold on to your own righteousness, you are being legalistic. You are like the teachers of the law. If you try to be self-righteous, the teachers of the law, they are self-righteous. You have nothing to do with God. You have fallen away from Christ. So the gospel of Yeshua Messiah is very solitary. Amen po? You must always walk on here on this narrow road. That's why the Lord always tell us, enter the narrow road. Do not enter in a wide road because it leads to destruction. Amen po? The way that He has given us is the gospel. Gospel is the way that Yeshua Messiah has given us. This is the way of repentance that is given by grace. So repentance plus grace. You must know that you are sinners and you must and this is the way that you can receive the glorious gospel of God. When we receive the gospel, we definitely receive the grace, the gift of salvation. So we know that Yeshua Messiah came to die for sinners. 1 Timothy 1.15 It is a trustworthy statement deserving full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners among whom I am foremost. Amen po? We know that Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul is no ordinary believer. He was among the greatest believers of his time. Yet, he has, in his own words, he said, he was the worst of sinners. He also said that he was the chief and absolute worst of sinners. And Yeshua HaMasiyah came to save such people like him. Dahil kung hindi tayo makasalanan, Yeshua Masiya will not save us. Amen, Amen po. Kung baga, nag-champion tayo, nasa top 10 siguro tayo sa listahan. Kaya sabi ni Lord, unahin ko ito. Lagay ko ito sa holy joy. Amen po. So why did Yeshua Masiya call such people? Why would Yeshua Masiya choose those who are wicked, those who are very sinful? Yeshua HaMasiyah chose them. He gave them a chance. No other word except to give all of us a chance. A chance to go back to God. 1 Corinthians 1, 26-29 For consider your calling, brothers and sisters, each one of us has a calling. Amen? That there were not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble. Verse 27, But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. And God has chosen the, world, the, 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 the weak things of the world to shame the things which are strong. Verse 28, And the insignificant things of the world and the despised God has chosen the things that are not so that he may nullify the things that are. Verse 29, so that no human may boast before God. Amen. You know, when uh, uh, the late Dr. Kidung Kim he started teaching Berea, one of a very spiritual father of one of the students decided to study in Berea. Question, he has not studied, you know, not even grade one. So, many were telling Dr. Kidung Kim, do not allow him because how can he understand the Bible? But who will let us understand? God. So, alam mo, he accepted that and during the graduation for he even excelled 
from all those who are professionals. Amen. That's why here, tatlo po ang pastor dito noon who were up to high school only. I did not mind as long as they love God and in their heart, the Holy Spirit has put the desire and the fire of God to study Berea, to know God, to obey, and to believe. Amen po. Sa ibang, ibang uh, Bible school, you can not. You can not. Amen po. When God sent me to the Dunamis International School of Missions to Asia, the first question po, have you served the church for five years? I haven't. I was just one year born again. But, the Lord told me, you tell him, ask him where you can find a scholarship for missionaries. And, you know, when he asked this, and I said, no, Pastor, I have only become born again for one year. But God rebuked him immediately. So he hugged me, and the pastor said, oh my God, how happy I am that you are newly born again. But God has really been coming here with you. God has been with you because God is telling me now, I want to accelerate this lady. Let him study. And so I was given scholarship. All the schools that I studied, I was on scholarship. Not a single centavo came from it. God, only God, lead me to this place. So, even you don't have the, the wisdom, wisdom of God is far greater than the wisdom of man. Amen po? So, no worries at all. But only have a repentant heart. Love the Lord with all your heart and the desire to obey. Useless. You study until and then you cannot obey. Amen po? You are just putting a, what you call this, a rope on your neck. You are killing yourself. Amen po? So, the more Satan would like to take you back to him because you cannot obey. That's why obedience is very important. <clears throat> Last night, our Bible study, Lorwin was discussing about the perfect will of God. That is the problem. Many cannot obey the perfect will of God. Amen, po? So, during our fasting, ask the Lord, Lord, increase my faith. Lord, increase my desire to obey you. Um, amen po? Amen. Only God can make us capable to do those things. Amen po? So, although they had nothing in the flesh, he gave it to them so that there would be no one boasting before Yeshua Masiya. Yeshua Masiya has given us the chance, the opportunity to go back to Him, although we have nothing at all in the eyes of God. What we only have is what? A heart that repents. Amen po? None of us is perfect. And we are neither those who seek perfection. We are worthless in the same way as we were called. We are worthless in the same way as all the world, as all the world is. And yet we know that we have something that the world does not have. We come to God with humility. So God accepts those who are humble. So believers must understand that you have nothing, none of us has something. Only God can do something out of nothing to us. Nothing. We don't have anything at all. Amen po? And they have called by Yeshua Masiya and should not try to be something. Amen po? Marami po. Pag nagiging head of the church po, makita mo, hala, manamit para. Alam mo na. 
Pero hindi po siya maganda sa harapan ng Diyos. Hmm? Hindi po. The first who criticized me about that, si Lord mismo. The Lord told me one day, I was just, I think, 10 days old. Sinabihan ako ng Panginoon, tingnan mo sarili mo sa salamin. You look at yourself in the mirror. When I was looking at myself in the mirror, the Lord asked, what did you say? What did you say, my child? And I said, Lord, I am more beautiful. <laughs> oh, talaga naman po, muti ako sa harapan ko before hindi pa ako born again. Ngayon, born again na. You know what the Lord said? You are like a Christmas tree. Remove all those you don't need them. And even if you insist, I will not allow you to enter. Amen po? Take note. Hmm. Yung Feast of Tabernacle, sabi ni Karen, Bishop, nag-lipstick ka. Ay, kung hindi mo lang nag-lipstick din, I realize later, nilipstickan pala ako ni Princess. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, sa totoo lang, I really forgot about it. That's why I insisted, hindi ako nag-gone, nag-lipstick. I mean po? So, we should understand all the ways of the Lord. We must hit straight to that day. Amen po? We must receive the gift of grace. We must be called as righteous by God. We must receive the justification of God. What is the justification of God? God will tell you, before you were wicked, you turn your backs on me, but now you are cleansed by my blood. The cleansing of the blood of Yeshua Messiah will justify us to become His child. Amen po? So, while we are under Yeshua Messiah's wings, we must make His righteousness as our own. Until the end of time, we must have the same hope and look forward to this glorious day. This is the great love of God. We know that God loves us in this way. The Lord, Yeshua HaMasiah, has come to us in this way. He has saved a sinner like you and me, and we can confirm this love, and we can remember this love. We do not try to find any righteousness of our own. This is what I encourage you, all of you, in the name of Yeshua HaMasiah. So let us become a new wife. And we must also have a new wine skin, a repentant heart. And when Yeshua Masya comes with grace, we must receive the grace to the full. Hindi tanggapin mo lang. We will not be contented with just accepting Yeshua Masya. We go further by obeying the Lord, believing in Him through and through. Amen? Until the time ends, while we are still in this church, let us fully rely on the grace of Yeshua HaMasiah. This is what I encourage all of you in the name of Yeshua HaMasiah. Now declare three times to the person seated next to you, let us become a new wine of God until the end. Let us become a new wine of God until the end. Let us become a new wine of God let us pray, all of us. Abba Shubashamai, we pray that all of us who have heard your word, we pray that you take hold of us. We pray that you will fill us with the Holy Spirit. We pray that we will remember your eternal grace. We pray that we will not boast about ourselves, but we pray together that you will take hold of us and work with us. Help us fulfill all your goodwill and personally help us and protect us from the evil one. Through the Holy Spirit, grant us your divine and abundance in all aspects of our life. In the name of Yeshua, Namaste, I pray, Amen.